Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Essence of Shea. Let's get started. I usually take the bus to go to school, but she left and uh, she left early that day to go to work. So I was like, man, like I want to be cool at school. Like I'm tired of being like the loser kid who like has all these their other friends have all this stuff going on for them. They got cars, they can go out, they can party, they can do all these things. They're fabulous. And I just wanna be, I just wanna be cool too. So my mom had this, what was it? A Dodge Durango. These cars are no jogi. They're so big and massive. I don't know where I thought I was going, but I left with her car and I drove to school and I was all, was it her Dodge Durango? Drove it to school, mad pump, like, yeah, I'm about to be cool. Blah, 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 blah. And this is when I was living on St. Croix, which is an island in the Virgin Islands. Um, so I drove to school, I was litty. So I went to school, I'm fine, everything. Then it's time to leave and uh, there was this guy that I was talking to and he was like, how you getting home? I said, babe, I drove. You got your mother's car? Oh, you popping. Well, you know, <laughs> thank you, boo. Mad people was like, yo, Shay, you got a car? What's good? So I'm hyped and then all of a sudden these people start jumping on like the hood of the car. Island folks, you know, anything makes us happy, you know? So they jumped on the car. I'm driving a car with them on the hood. And I'm all hype and whatnot, right? So I'm like, all right, y'all, I gotta get back home because uh, in my head, I'm like, if my mother catches me, I'm dead. Like, I got back home just in the nick of time. And when you turn into the garage, like not into the garage, but the yard, you go through the gate and then there's this big like chunk of a, a rock. I don't know why it was even there, but what you have to do is my mom always backs in. I go and I drive up and I maneuver the car, I back up, I'm good. But I'm like, yo, this car is too big and I have to reverse it properly because then she'll know that her car was moved. So when I drove it forward, I turned the wheel and lo and behold, that car went over the hump and I, I was like, oh snap. And I'm driving, I'm reversing, beep, 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 beep. The car is not moving. Do y'all know the amount of scaredomian that was going through, yes, scaredomian that was going through my mind? Like all I could think of, oh my God, she's gonna kill me. What am I gonna do? I just want a Big Mac right now. Everything that was going through my mind and I just sucked my teeth like, why Shayna? Like everybody else gets away with stuff, but you, you never get away with things. So why do you continue to push the boundaries of your life? A huge rock with a huge car on top of it. And I couldn't get it to reverse. The neighbor next door, he was this old grumpy guy. I swear he did not like kids. If you guys ever saw that movie with the baseball movie and the dog, Sand lots when they used to knock the balls over and they, they thought the guy was evil and whatnot. He was like that guy. Like he didn't want to talk to nobody. He looked mad scary, but he came out and he looked at me and he just shook his head. He said, I oh, what is, what going on? What happened? Why you do this? questioning me i'm like bruh like bruh i do not want to hear this right now <laughs> i do not want to hear this but i couldn't give him an answer because i i respect my elders two by four uh piece of wood under the car and like maneuvered it to a way that it lift up so when i reversed it it came off throughout all this time is like time stopped or something and it like froze my mom, she had not come home yet. She had not called the house anything. Nobody came home. So I got the car 
thankfully to this man and I got the car off of that and I reversed it back. Ja! Um, I sit down and I'm doing my homework and everything and my mom comes walking through the door and she asks me how I'm doing and I'm I'm gassed. I'm like, I'm good, mom, how you doing? Like talking to her, telling her what, what happened in school today other than the car and then I'm just happy so I go to my room she said all right well get ready for dinner so I go to my room I pull away my stuff and she goes oh Shay Shayna I got something to tell you and I'm like what happened she goes oh so while I was coming home from work I got this phone call and I forgot what the lady's name was and she said uh she called me and she was like oh uh mercedes you wouldn't believe this i'm like what mom what happened all oh, geeked like i'm nosy what happened she goes um uh miss haynes uh i heard that uh your daughter was driving around with people in the uh high school parking lot area and she had kids just driving around and on the hood and it was very unsafe and I just wanted you to know just tell your daughter to be careful because somebody really could have gotten hurt and da 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 <laughs> mommy I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm so sorry you know I just wanted to be a part of the cool kids like please don't be bad at me <laughs> and I tell y'all one piece of crying came out my mouth like one piece of crying. <laughs> I'm so sorry. When I came home, the car got stuck over the rock, telling the lady all the business. She didn't even get to be angry or yell yet. And I'm spilling all the tea, crying my butt, my eyes out. Like, I was so scared. All she did is say, you know the Caribbean parents. All right. Well, I don't have much to say to you. But just just go to your room you know that ain't good like i was like in 10th grade like 11th grade or 12th grade like too old to get whoops like <laughs> you thought i'm gassed oh so when they sit down and they tell you all right just go to your room and i will talk to you later you know it's about to be some serious type punishment because the fact that they couldn't even yell at you, right? It's almost like you want the punishment done right then and there. I ain't got time. Me ain't got the time nor the damn patience to wait for you to think about what you're trying to do to me. I want to know now, you hear me? I think I even asked her like, Ma, like I'm not gonna get punished or anything. She said, Shana. And she said my whole government name. That's when you really know you're in trouble. She said my whole government name. Just go to your room. So I'm sitting in my room and I'm like. Fire. But at the end of the day, I got grounded for a month. Um, I couldn't watch TV or anything. Uh, I couldn't go out, which I barely did to begin with. So that part didn't bother me. But that was just like a lesson learned. Like everybody else, and this is a lesson for myself. Everybody else can get away with murder. But Shayna, no, sir. Nope, nope, nope. Anything that I do that like a regular teenager probably would do mischievous wise and get away with it not me nope i hope you liked this video if you did let's get this to 50 likes gang 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 i don't know why i keep doing that pray for me y'all i hope you have subscribed already if you didn't like what what are we doing you guys gotta subscribe because that lets me know that you're enjoying my content you enjoy what i'm putting out there so i could put out more I'll see you guys next time. See you later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles. Mm -hmm.